And now to breaking news. The VA has shut down the thoracic surgical unit at its hospital at Bay Pines. This comes after three deaths and a complaint about the quality of care. Thoracic surgery involves opening a patient's chest to work on organs within the cavity. It's delicate, it's sophisticated, and it can be deadly if mistakes are made. Target 8 senior investigator Steve Anders found this is not the first time that this surgical unit in particular has fallen under scrutiny. That's right. Earlier this year, the VA's Office of Inspector General investigated a complaint that a thoracic surgeon at Bay Pines was incompetent. Now, this latest concern is about quality of care. Our sources tell us that within a six-week period, three patients at the hospital died following thoracic surgery while in post-op. VA spokesperson Jason Dangle confirms the unit is shut down and will remain so until an external team comes in and reviews the thoracic surgery program. Earlier this year, the VA's Office of Inspector General looked into a complaint that a thoracic surgeon was incompetent, and that led to patient complications and deaths. Now, the Inspector General could not confirm the surgeon in question, who was unnamed in the report, was indeed incompetent. What it did point out was that the procedures Bay Pines followed to identify incompetent surgeons was lacking. So that's got to make you feel good. Well, how many of these surgeries are actually performed at Bay Pines? And if you're a veteran in need of the surgery, what are you supposed to do? About 160 of these particular surgeries a year. Now, if a veteran is in need or in, has is a veteran is in need or is uh, urgent or emergency surgery, excuse me, they'll be referred out to other VA facilities or surgery centers in the community. So hopefully this will be taken care of. Hopefully these veterans will be taken care of and hopefully we can get to the bottom of what the heck is going on yeah. at VA. All right. Thanks, Steve.